everyone, I'm Steph and behind the camera is Chris and we're hungry to travel. Today here in Turkey, we're going to be heading to a restaurant that specializes in some very old and traditional Turkish dishes that have been around for centuries, Manti and Gözlemi. Now Manti is a type of dumpling, but it's not just your average dumpling. They're actually quite special and you're going to find out why. Gözlemi, on the other hand, is a stuffed flatbread that's made fresh and cooked to order with some very simple yet delicious ingredients. I don't know about you, but our mouths are already watering just thinking about trying these delicious dishes, so let's get going. Many different countries and cultures have their own take on dumplings, and Turkey's manti is no different. It's said to have originated from nomadic Turks who were traveling along the Silk Road in the 13th century, carrying with them meat dumplings from Central Asia or Mongolia, since it was an easy meal to transport dry and reheat and rehydrate later over a campfire. Gojlemi, on the other hand, doesn't quite have the same known uh, existence or history since it's thought to have been around for thousands of years, so the exact origin of the food is unknown. Both manti and gojlemi seem like simple foods with simple ingredients, but there's actually a lot of skill involved in making both. So excited to try both right now and see how they taste. So we sat down at 3T Manti and Gojlemi and it seems like they have a lot of different types of Gojlemi here. So Gojlemi is a really popular street food here in Turkey and what it is, it's a stuffed flatbread and they stuff it with different things like meats, cheeses, uh, vegetables, herbs and spices. It really depends on where you are in Turkey and it varies by region but there's a lot of different varieties. So here we've ordered the Kesharli cheese uh, variety of the Gojlemi as well as the spinach uh, kind of Gojlemi. So we're excited to try both and see what they taste like. As we mentioned earlier, manti is a type of dumpling. So it's made with a mixture of meat and onions, which is usually a beef or a lamb. And it's wrapped in a thin dough that's usually either boiled or steamed. And then it's served to you covered in a garlicky yogurt sauce that is topped with melted butter and usually Aleppo pepper and or mint. Here at 3T Manti and Gojlemi, we have ordered three different types of manti. So we've got just the typical manti. We've also got some triangular shaped manti and some big manti. On the menu there's also a couple different extra things that we saw that we're gonna get. We're gonna be getting a homemade mystery soup as well as a plate of sausages and what translates to smoking burek. So looking forward to trying everything. So everything's arrived and first off, these portions are insane. I don't think we realized how much food we actually ordered. The two gozlemis, there's quite a bit. The small portions of the manti aren't too bad. The big one, really big. These cigar bregi look super cool. And our sausage platter came with a whole ton of fries. So it's way bigger than we were expecting. No wonder we kind of got some funny faces when we ordered all this food. So I'm just gonna dig right in with the manti. These smell amazing. You can see the amount of yogurt and everything on all of them. It looks like we've got mint sprinkled on top as well as I believe a bit of um, like a tomato sauce or something. So let's just dig in there. Wow looks so rich already. Okay, let's 
take a look at that. It's steaming hot. Everything is so fresh. Try not to burn my mouth. Mmm. Oh wow, that's so good. So the yogurt with the mint. And these taste like they're made with lamb. That's so good. It reminds me of having like a leg of lamb at the Sunday roast dinner when I was a kid. That's super delicious. The yogurt goes so well with the lamb meat. Really balances it out. The yogurt is super thick, really creamy. And with the mint, oh, it's so rich. That's real good. Let's go on to, um, so this is the Uzbek, which is the big manti. So you can see these are quite a bit larger in size. And it looks like there's Aleppo pepper possibly sprinkled on top, as opposed to the mint on this one. So maybe it'll be a bit spicier. Let's give it a try. Hmm. Yeah, so it tastes quite different without the mint. I think it's Aleppo pepper, that's what we, Sort of red it's not super spicy though it's quite nice it complements the meat really well there's quite a bit of meat inside of these ones too you can kind of see there the little bulb or ball of meat that's in it so these ones have a little bit more meat in them which is really nice it's a nice kind of change to the smaller ones and this one tastes like it's lamb as well so i have a feeling they're all gonna be lamb so this is the sort of i guess you'd call it the traditional manti so you can see traditional manti, why it's so special, which we alluded to earlier, is because they're super, super small. So you can see, you can get a bunch of them onto your fork. And by fork, I mean spoon. <laughs> you can get quite a few on there. So they're really, really small. And there's a lot of skill that goes into making these such a small size. So let's do it. Hmm. That's so nice because there's so many that get into your mouth at the same time. Each of them have a nice amount of meat in them. Again, the lamb really balances well with the flavors. It's so creamy. There's butter poured on it as well, so it's really rich. Oh my gosh. This is so good. So we have our gojlemi here as well. So we have the spinach gojlemi here. It looks really, really good. It's so fresh, so hot, as well as our Kesharli cheese gochlemi. And it looks like the cheese is really melty as well. All cooked so super fresh. Both comes with the spicy green chilies as well as tomatoes. So I'm just gonna dig in right now, just with my hands. Mmm, that's really good. So it's so thin. The dough is actually really, really thin. Mm. That's really tasty. The taste of the spinach, you can really taste the spinach in there. So it's just spinach, there's no cheese in there. It's crispy, it's crunchy. You can see the burn marks on it as well. That's really good. I'm gonna dig into this cheese one because I know it's gonna be like melty cheese, so. Mm. I don't know if you can quite see, but the Kasarli cheese is a cheddar cheese, I believe. So it's different than the Panerli cheese that's usually used in a lot of the Burek and some of the Gojlami. So we got the yellow cheese instead. It's really good. Mm. Really, really cheesy. There's so much food here. I don't know how we're going to finish this all. Mmm. So the cheese gojlami is actually really good. It's not too salty and the meltiness of the cheese is really, really nice. The thinness of the dough is really, really light. So every bite, it's not like it doesn't feel heavy when you're eating it. It's really, really light. It's good. So it seems like the dough was brushed with some sort of oil or butter as well. And that's what kind of makes cooks it and gives it that really crunchy crunchy flavor to it so it's not too oily though as it's not like dripping and it doesn't really taste that oily so i think it just helps it grill the gorge lemon so the way it's made they roll out a really thin 
um, layer of uh, dough and then they sprinkle in all the ingredients and cover it with another thin layer and then they cook it on a special convex shaped uh, sack grill and it's actually like a kind of like a domed grill and they throw it on that and they cook it so it's really really cool and the, the name gojlemi actually comes from the word goj which means eyes and it comes from when the gojlemi dough is being grilled and cooked on the grill it gets these black burn marks on the actual gojlemi so they kind of look like eyes so that's kind of where the name comes from gojlemi I'm actually just gonna take a bit of both. I'm gonna try like a spinach cheese, like kind of like a spanica pita, maybe. Mmm, that's actually really good together. And I think some places actually do do like a cheese spinach gojlemi, but here they're separate. I guess you can do this to make it together. We also got these cigar boragi. So these are quite interesting. It looks like they've been, I think, fried maybe because they're quite crispy and look to be crunchy, which I love. So let's just see what they're like. <laughs> mm. So pretty much like just a cheese boragi, but in cigar shape and fried. <laughs> Really nice and crunchy. Good imagine cheese inside. You know, it's kind of like it's kind of like a mozzarella stick. So I'm just gonna take a try here at this sausage platter. It looks like wieners and French fries, but nonetheless, this looks pretty good. Kind of looks like spider dogs. Like if you go camping and you kind of split the dogs and grill them over a fire. Hmm. Yeah. So. I would say it's not so much a sausage as it's kind of like a like your wiener It's actually really good. It has a bit of a spiciness to it actually so Hmm not too salty Goes good with the ketchup It's kind of like a hot dog cut up on a plate with french fries. I guess that is kind of what it is It's a good little addition to our massive amount of food here the size and shape of the manti really vary by region. So you can see here we got three different size manti and the traditional manti, which is Kasari manti we have here, comes from the city of Kasari. And they're actually part of a wedding tradition where the mother of the groom goes over to the bride's house for manti. And depending on the size of the manti, the smaller manti she makes, the better she is in the kitchen. And traditionally, you should be able to fit 40 manti on one spoon. So you can just imagine how teeny tiny those would have to be. So the different types of manti that we got are the large, the triangular one, and the caserli manti. So you can see just on the spoon alone, the variety in shape and size of manti. And this is only a fraction of what was on the menu. So you can just imagine the different types of manti that are out there for you to try. That was a crazy amount of food. We ordered way too much, but we have no regrets because it was all so delicious and so yummy. It was nice ordering all three different types of manti and the two gojlemis because it was nice getting a different variety of each. Even though they all tasted a little bit similar, they were all a little bit different as well. So it was nice getting that variety. The sausage platter and the cigar brekki were also a nice touch. Definitely not needed as well, but a nice little combo and a nice little crunch to uh, our manti and our gorge lemon as well. Everything we ordered here today cost 130 Turkish Lira, which is about $13 Canadian. If you notice, we didn't get the soup, but that's because they didn't have it on the menu today, so maybe next time. The quality of the food and the ingredients here is top notch. Everything was made fresh to order. The gojlemi, the manti are made here fresh every single day, and you can really, really tell the quality in the taste of the food. It was honestly like getting a home cooked meal. It was so good. If you enjoyed our Manti and Gojlemi feast, hit the like button, leave us a comment below, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. We're hungry to travel, we'll see you next meal.